What's going on, y'all? This is Rob Lightborn. This is Accountability Day 3. <clears throat> um, today so far has been pretty good. Um, got up a little late, but in turn for getting up late, I noticed that I got up with a lot more energy because I was upset with myself for getting late, for, for waking up late. So I did get up, I started handling things right away. My mindset kind of kicked in a little bit more because I was a little bit more down on myself. So I thought that's been working out to be good so far. Now, on the flip side, you know, definitely I'm upset that, you know, there was some extra time wasted. Uh, time is something extremely valuable to me, uh, as it probably is to most people. And so, um, yeah, I was a little upset about that. But <clears throat> other than that, everything's been going good as, as far as uh, that goes. I wanted to get into some of the specifics that I'm doing. Um, just focusing so far on the area of working out, I'll probably start getting into more things that I'm doing, you know, just uh, in my development musically and things about things that relate to my purpose in life and everything. But as far as working out every day, um, I think I'm on day, I should be on day 20 now. And I'm really upset that I wasn't documenting this all the way from the very first day that I actually started this. But um, yeah, this should be day 20. If I'm not mistaken. I have been, I have told myself that I wanted to make sure I do a minimum workout so that I keep myself active and whatnot. I actually had a health scare earlier this year and a lot of it was linked to, you know, lengthy, amount of, uh, lengthy amounts of time, at least lengthy for myself, for my usual self. It was lengthy amounts of time of actually not being physically active and my body kind of reacted to that where I started dealing with like, you know, borderline high blood, high blood pressure and all types of stuff. So anyway, um, every single day, uh, I make sure to do 150 push-ups, 150 squats, 150 sit-ups, and I run. That's my minimum. I, I usually run about a mile. Um, sometimes I go over. I have a, Basically, my commitment is not to go any less than a mile. Um, these are things that I find easy for myself just due to the fact that it doesn't take as much time. Now, in about maybe 50 or 60 percent of the time throughout those 20 days, I have done more where I actually include weights and I actually include like the normal level of training that I, I usually do. But at the minimum, like on the day where I don't feel like doing nothing, um, I'm going to get that 150 push-ups, 150 sit-ups, 150 squats in that mile in. And that's what I've noticed has worked for me personally. It works to where as long as it's something easy, my mind doesn't have to think about it too much. Anytime I wake up in the morning, I don't really like to think. I'm more of an evening person. So I don't really like to think and have to construct a plan when I wake up. So I usually set these bare minimums so that way I know that I'm able to uh, execute them. And then if I notice after I'm consistently doing it, that I'm constantly hitting it, then I'll raise the bar on that foundational uh, situation that I've set. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, it's been going good. And um, I'm gonna leave you with this. <laughs> Failure is only a bad thing if you stop after that. So if you fail to do something exactly the way that you said you were gonna do it, and you still have an opportunity to try again, then it's not failure as you may see it. It's only temporary. It's only a final failure if you leave it there and then you quit, whatever that situation is. So yeah, definitely, you know, stay away from that mindset. I mean, you know, if you fail yesterday or if you fail even today, you know, if you fail at any point in time and then you get to wake up the next morning and you get to, you know, try at it again, I mean, there's always a chance to start over if you get to wake up in the morning. So just wanted to leave you with that. God willing, I will see you tomorrow. Remember, always respect time. Peace.